I'm trying to total a couple of hours here in Excel. However, my sum function is get some wrong result. So here I did the sum function completely correctly. I just select all the values that make up the total hour. However, when I press enter, it's showing me a wrong result, 22 hours. Man, come on, if I just sum these last two values here, we can see that it's than 22 hours. So how can I solve that problem here in Excel? Let's find it out. To sum hours over 24 hours here in Excel, it can sound like an easy task. However, it can be a little trick to make that total, that sum over 24 hours. Let's start here if this time sheet where I have the date, time in, time out, two blocks of time in, time out, the first block, and then maybe we have some lunch time, and then the second one, time in, time out block. I need to, the first thing, know how much hours the employee work in each one of the rows, I mean, in each one of the dates that I have. So let's start here if this first row, uh, if simple formula equal, open parentheses, I'm gonna select the first timeout, subtract the first timeout of the time in, and then I'm gonna close parentheses, plus I'm gonna add the second formula here that is open parentheses, timeout, subtract, time in, close parentheses, and then I'm gonna press enter. Okay, here I have a total hours worked in the first row, in the first data. To make sure all the rows contain the same formula, I can just click here in the corner of the cell, hold and drag it down. Okay, now I have all the total hours worked in this week for all of the rows that I have here. If I do here a total hours, so let's say I need to know how much the payments is gonna be in this week. So I need to take the total hours and then multiply by 18.22 dollars to check out how much I'm gonna receive in cash. So to make that, I go with the equal, the sum function. Double click it to select, one, two, okay. Now I go select all the values that make up the total hour column. Now I go close parentheses and when I press enter, the result that I get is 22 hours and 47 minutes. However, it's clearly wrong. How is it possible? I just make a sum, a, a sum function here correctly. Take all the values that make up the total hour and how, how is it possible? The result returns only 24, 22 hours. This type of error always happens in Excel when you are some hours that are over 24 hours. This is because when Excel reach 24 hours in total, it's go back to zero and then it's gonna add numbers to the 24 and then when it's reach or exceed 24 hours, it's go back to zero and this loop go over and over again. So to make sure our total or sum is completely correct, we can just select the cell where you insert the sum function and then you can go to the home tab and then here you in the number format, you can click in the DAO arrow and you go to the last option, more numbers formats. Here there is two main paths you can choose to make sure your total hours is gonna be correct. The first one is you go here to the category time and then you select this option here, 37, 30, 55. Okay, select that option. Here in the sample, we can see that the total hours that is in our sum function is equal to 70 hours, 70 hours, okay? You can choose that option or if you do not have the option in your Excel, do not freak out and just select here, custom, and then you just need to type it in this format that I have here, okay? So open brackets, uh, age, close back brackets, column, mm, column, ss, semicolon, at, okay? And you're gonna have the same result. I go press OK and take a look that our total hours is gonna update to a completely correct result. Let me just click here OK. Now my total hours is completely correct and with that I can see the total payment of the week. I hope this video can help you out because Excel maybe can be a little bit tricky to solve little tasks. I hope this video can help you out and if you have any type of questions just comment down below. And I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.